This West Virginia legislative session is unlike any other due to the pandemic, but some members of the House are pushing for more transparency. 13 News reporter Larissa Casillas explains. Haley, the Democratic caucus has sent a letter to Speaker of the House Roger Hanshaw asking for more transparency. Many argue the COVID-19 precautions are making it hard for the public to keep up. It may only be just the beginning of the West Virginia legislative session, but Delegate Kayla Young says it's moving fast. We've run through so many bills already this year in the first 10 days of session, and it's weird with nobody in the Capitol. We're used to so many people. Because of COVID-19, the public isn't allowed into the building. They're running a very aggressive agenda. There's a lot of bills that are going to affect the day-to-day -day lives of West Virginians, but there have been no public hearings. Uh, the media is often shut out of committee room. Delegate Mike Pushkin and Delegate Young are among those who signed a letter to Speaker of the House Roger Hanshaw that in part reads, in order to promote transparency and openness in the legislative process, we would encourage you to video all committee hearings, especially those in the House chamber where there is already video capability. Currently, there is only an audio stream available to the public from one of the chambers. And while it's understandable that we take every precaution due to due to COVID, uh, well, a lot of their own members aren't even wearing masks. Last session, Delegate Young remembers the galleries filled with teachers during the teacher strikes and bills on teachers pay and charter schools. This year, we just kind of passed those bills straight on through, and the galleries were completely empty. So I think people are definitely noticing that big things are happening, and it's kind of just business as usual moving along, and nobody really has a say in it. And so it's, it's different. And we attempted to reach out to Speaker of the House Roger Hanshaw, and our calls were not returned. In this studio, Larissa Casillas, 13 News, working for you.